Hello, I'm Rani from GB Times in Beijing, China. Top news today, Xinhua News reports, drought since mid-June has left about 6 million people short of water in 13 provinces and regions across China. Hunan, Guizhou and Hubei provinces and Chongqing are facing the most severe droughts. When corn farmer in Chongqing explains clearly the impact of the drought on his harvest. Drought has caused direct economic losses of 12 billion yuan or some 2 billion US dollars and affected about 2.1 million hectares of farmland. China Daily reports the State Council has allocated 1.7 billion yuan or 270 million US dollars to help regions with drought relief. Also in news, the New Zealand-based Fonterra Cooperative Group apologized on Monday for its tainted milk powder scare and pledged that all the contaminated wheat protein will be brought under control within 48 hours. Uh, we deeply apologize to the people who have been affected by the issue uh, to guarantee to you that f food safety and safety of the people of the Republic of China, but also around the world, is our first and foremost interest. The CEO insisted that the milk contamination had no serious health impact. Like I said, there's no reports of anyone becoming ill. There's no consumer complaints. We have detected and confined 90% of the product. 10% of the affected product is, be, is under recall. So it will come in in the coming 48 hours. It is... We know where it is, it has to come back. So in 48 hours from now, the situation has to be fully controlled with 100% control over all products or finished products produced from this ingredient. Expert Zhang Yongjian told the Global Times this case will definitely have an impact on the whole New Zealand milk industry, breaking the blind trust of the public toward imported dairy products. But experts claimed it is still not easy for domestic companies to regain the public's trust in the short term. The 2008 melamine tainted milk powder scandal have heavily damaged their reputation. Thanks for following GB Times. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Randy in Beijing. Goodbye for now.